had to chug my wine, so I think I'm a little tipsy. Look, you guys. Hubby came home early from work and surprised me with this. Some roses. I'm gonna go put them in a vase now. Or vase, however you like to say it, if you're fancy. So sweet. I'm the sweetest hubby ever. Hi guys, it's Saturday. Um, I didn't do anything yesterday except, yeah, not, not really much. Oh, sorry, hubby's texting me. Um, yeah, I didn't do much yesterday. It was just kind of a lazy day okay sorry that's hubby it was just kind of a lazy day because I was um I was kind of cramping and stuff and um I don't know if I I think I took some footage earlier but um hubby was so nice he got off of work early and um he knew I was craving for something sweet so he brought home um like this strawberry strawberry cake thing oh which was so good and um, he brought me home roses just as a, I don't know, to make me feel better kind of thing because he knew I wasn't feeling well. So that was so sweet of him. Um, what, what, am I, what did I want to talk to you guys about? Oh yeah, I just showed you guys, well, I'm going to show you guys. I walked to the car and it looks like somebody opened their door on our car door. So there's like marks on our, our door, but just got to our car and it looks like somebody hit our car with their door because there's like blue marks on it sorry don't mind the dirty car but well that's a bummer it happens hopefully we can buff it out and stuff um right now i'm headed over to target because i have to pick up some stuff to make um i'm gonna make cheddar bay biscuits because one time we went over to a friend's house and uh, I think it was for July 4th weekend and I made these Cheddar Bay biscuits like the ones that they make at oops, sorry like the ones that they make at um, at Red Lobster and um, one of the boys my, my friend's son he was like in love with the biscuits and he's like I want these for my birthday so <laughs> it's his birthday today and even though he might have been joking i'm gonna make it anyway just because i know he really really liked them a lot and um what else do i gotta pick up i gotta go pick up a birthday card and some paper towels and hubby wants more cheddar bay bis uh cheddar bay not cheddar bay biscuits um the what is it called the tillamook cheese bagels so they have them at um target and i need more salted butter because we're all out i think that's all we need I should have made a list, but oh well. Look how beautiful the day is, you guys. Grabbing the last cheese bagels. This is the salted butter we like. Okay, some mild cheddars, two for five. That mild cheddar. the birthday card I think that's all I needed so I think I'm ready to go okay you guys I got everything I needed at Target and I'm gonna head home now I checked for cotton candy grapes because I was watching another vlogger and they said that in their town they found cotton candy grapes at Target but they didn't have them here so I'm gonna head home now and I will talk to you guys later okay so I just parked I'm at home now um, I'm getting ready to head in but I just wanted to share that on the drive home um, there's this new mall that's opening up and it's supposed to be like a bigger mall than the one we have we currently have a mall and it's a pretty good mall but um, some of the signs for the different stores that are there um, are gonna be at the mall are like up and so when I was driving on the freeway well not on the freeway like passing over the freeway i seen the signs and i'm so excited there's gonna be um a forever 21 they had a small forever 21 in our current mall but they closed it down so when we came back in february it was like starting to close and then it eventually closed so i was kind of bummed about that but i'm so excited they're gonna have a bigger forever 21 oh my gosh they're gonna have an ulta 
Um, they're gonna have what else did I see? They're gonna have a home goods and oh a chipotle i've never ever tried chipotle but i see everybody raving about that so i'm so excited there's gonna be a chipotle and then what was the other place that i i seen there was a ton of other signs but i didn't want to like um stare because i was trying to watch the road at the same time um there was one more that i was excited about oh blazing onion i i think we ate at blazing onion before i'm not sure but yeah there was among others there was those stores those are the ones that i was able to see so i'm really excited to see what other stores are going to be there and i'm so excited i don't know when it's supposed to open up but yeah and um <clears throat> also when i was driving it's such a beautiful day like the wind is like really blowing today so all the trees are like swaying and like the clouds are moving fast in the sky i wish i could have recorded while i was driving but my camera was all the way in my bag and i didn't want to like risk getting into an accident or whatever so um yeah i'm gonna head into the house and cook now and i'll show you guys how simple it is to make these delicious cheddar bay biscuits everybody loves them and really you guys it's super duper easy and you know me i'm all about easy peasy meals so i'll show you guys real quick and then maybe we'll take you guys along to the party with us all right <clears throat> it said nacho average party so it's like the theme is going to be like a nacho bar and stuff so cute i love when people do like themes like that um yeah so we're headed to the party now we got our cheddar bay biscuits that he asked for and um In yeah three quarters I'll show you of a mile turn left there, on i north do it for like s no pop <laughs> we're doing bonfire next weekend too Oh cool. We'll be in Vegas.
at how nice the day is. Look at the sky. Beauts. Okay, everything's blowing, so I'll talk to you guys later. I'll let you guys know if we find it or not. Okay, hi guys. Um, back home. We just got back from Central Market, and unfortunately, they did not have cotton candy grapes, so... I guess my hunt is over and I'm going to have to wait for next season. Um, at the party we went to though, uh, a lady that we met said that she got some at the commissary, which we're unable to go onto the commissary because we're not active military, but um, she said that she didn't really care for them um, because she tried them right in the store, but her friend really, really liked them. And that's kind of what I've been seeing. I've been seeing um, it's either people really like them or they don't like them at all. So. I don't know. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about, but I guess I'm not going to be able to. Hopefully they have them again, like during, I don't know, another season or something. But yeah, so we were, Scott was going to cook me dinner and we got the ingredients to cook. But as we were driving home, uh, one of our other friends called and they're in the area and they want to meet us for dinner. So um, Scott's, I don't know, kind of happy about that because he said he did. Now he doesn't have to cook and to kill time i'm just having a glass of moscato wine my favorite wine and um we're just hanging out probably gonna put on the game for a little bit the seahawks game watch some sunday night football oh, we'll see i don't know um and then just catch up on some social media and wait for them to call us so yeah i just wanted to fill you guys in and say that we didn't find my cotton candy grapes but um the party was fun the party was yes you have something to say? No paparazzi. <laughs> the party was fun. It was super cute. I didn't really take much footage there because I was playing with a little baby named Trig. And um, yeah, I was holding him and I couldn't film and stuff. But they had like a, a campfire and we did like marshmallows and s'mores and stuff. And there was like a nacho bar. So we had a lot of fun. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to eat yet. Maybe some Korean. Maybe, I don't know, something else. But um yeah i'll talk to you guys later All right bye okay so no korean we're going to our favorite pho place green garden pho i had to chug my wine so i think i'm a little tipsy tips up here's our food oh you dropped it figures that was gonna happen oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wait, wait. reese it's hot say hi <gasps> hi yeah. Oh, say hi. Eva. Yeah. Eva. I know. <laughs> Reese, say hi. Can you say hi like this? Say hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. Okay, we're home now watching some Sunday night football. Dinner was amazing. I'm so full. Um, are you hiding your face? Okay. He's making sure he can't be seen. So we're just lying in bed watching some football and I wanted to end the vlog here with my gratitude moment. Um, my gratitude moment is actually spending time with friends. <laughs> spending time with friends this weekend. Um, at the, the birthday party we went to, it was fun and nice seeing and meeting different people. And then right after that, we got to see our other friends. They called us and, um... We met up with them for dinner and they, they bought our dinner. So that was nice of them. Thank you guys so much if you guys are watching. Dinner was so good. We ended up eating at our favorite pho restaurant. And yeah, it was really good. So that's my gratitude moment. I encourage you guys to share your gratitude moments down in the comments below. So that we can help keep each other in an attitude of gratitude. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I wanted to say don't forget to like and favorite this channel and this video comment and connect with us down below and subscribe don't forget to subscribe to become a part of our fam our tamayoshi fam bam so um that's it until the next video you guys stay grateful bye Hello. no paparazzi <laughs> thank you for watching <laughs> tamayoshi tv no paparazzi <laughs>
and now I'm going on a hunt for cotton candy grapes. So wish me luck.